the most advanced civilization in the universe. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hang on to your hats, because you're about to learn how the performance of a civilization as a whole can be measured. What if we meet someone on Mars, or aliens would finally decide to visit our planet? How do we know who's a real rock star of the universe? In 1964, Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev came up with a special scale which categorizes civilizations into their levels of advancement. According to Kardashev, the status of a civilization is the product of two things, energy and technology. It means the better technology you have, the more energy you can exploit. The more energy you harness, the better technology you can create. The first draft of his scale contained information about the following types of civilizations. Planetary, stellar, and a galactic civilization. Today, humanity seems to fit in any of these types, but it's not so simple. Being only the beginning of the types of civilizations theory, the Kardashev list was edited and expanded based on recent developments in nanotechnology, biotechnology, and quantum physics. Although it is impossible to predict the precise features of such advanced civilizations, their broad outlines can be analyzed using the laws of physics. So, today we know about seven types of advanced cosmic civilizations. Type 0 This is a sub-global culture that still gets energy from the raw materials, such as dead plants and animals. They can't even really leave their home planet yet. Sounds almost like us, but not exactly. Type 1 also known as the planetary civilization, is a half step above Earth. Such civilizations are able to harness and utilize all the energy that reaches the planet and the energy it can produce. According to physicist Michio Kaku, a planetary civilization should be able to influence the weather, control volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, influence global flora and fauna, geological makeup, plate tectonics. Type 1 civilization must also master space travel to deflect space debris within that time frame, which should not be much of a problem. We can't do that. Actually, American astronomer and science popularizer Carl Sagan thought that humanity is at about 0.7 of the way to Type 1. Berkeley astronomer Don Goldsmith reminds us that Earth receives about one billionth of the sun's energy and that humans utilize about one millionth of that. So, we consume about one million billionth of the sun's total energy. But our energy growth is rising exponentially, and hence, we can calculate how long it will take us to rise to type 2 or 3 status. Type 2 As soon as a civilization reaches type 1, it will exhaust the power of a planet, and it's most likely would leave its own planet looking for alternative energy sources, like a star, for example. Type 2 means a civilization becomes interplanetary, Getting energy from the star isn't an easy process. To do that, we'll have to build a megastructure called the Dyson Sphere. It should completely enclose a star and capture all of its energy. The idea of such a star machine was first proposed by physicist and mathematician Freeman Dyson in 1960. It should be at least two times larger than our sun to consume its energy and transport it to Earth. Perhaps the only serious threat to a Type II civilization would be a nearby supernova explosion, whose sudden eruption could scorch their planet in a withering blast of X-rays, killing all life forms. We'll reach this step only in 100 to 200 years. In fact, growing at a modest rate of 1% per year, Kardashev estimated that it would take only 3,200 years to reach Type II status, and 5,800 years to reach Type III status. However, it's just a theoretical calculation, after all. Type 3 Also known as the galactic culture, it can harness the energy from the entire galaxy. It's about 100,000 to 1 million years more advanced than we are. Just imagine the level of technological development. No natural catastrophe known to science is capable of destroying a Type 3 civilization. Type 4 also known as the universal culture, it can harness the energy from the entire universe. It'll probably be able to change the shape and whole structure of space. You have to get a whole universe's worth of energy to get this advanced. Can such a great amount of energy make post-biological cybernetic beings immortal or at least invincible? What do you think? Our civilization would probably be long since gone by that point. Type 5 
also known as the multiverse culture. It can change the structure of the universe, get energy from black holes, create new ones, change the laws of physics, etc. They themselves would become the energy and matter and transcend into the universe. Type 6 It's hard to describe the technological and intellectual advancement of such cultures. It's a godlike type of the civilizations. Kardashev didn't think it's rational to prognosticate that far, mainly because people can't grasp what might be there with their imagination. Although, any conjecture about such advanced civilizations is a matter of sheer speculation. We are living in what seems like an advanced civilization, but let's not kid ourselves. We are still technological infants. What do you think about it? Share your opinion in the comments. If you're curious, subscribe to our channel to keep up to what's going on in the world and beyond.